Okay, today me and my little brother will be watching um, How Among Us Turk Over the World. Um, please like and subscribe. We're desperate Among here. Oh, by the way, I don't Gus. know the psychological name. game that has taken over the world and made everyone think twice before ever trusting their friends again. As a relatively simple game with mechanics borrowed from the yeah, it's popular party it's game like Mafia, Mafia, Among Us has gone like from really indie really passion really project with a disappointing really performance on the App Store to all of a sudden yeah, becoming the really most streamed really game on Twitch and generating a legitimate frenzy of content on YouTube. Today we're going to dissect how all of this happened. How what seems like the entire world has gone from passing the time under a monotonous lockdown during a pandemic to taking turns with their friends stabbing each other and lying about it. So for the few people who are still unfamiliar with the game or for those curious about the history of this guy probably already knows. Do you? I don't know everything, you okay? The social sensation that is among us, let's take a look at it from the beginning. <laughs> among Us was developed by three people. Forte, what? Puffballs, Puffy and Amy. Balls. And together... Puffy, ba Puffy Balls? I thought, I thought the company made this, not three people. They called themselves Inner Sloth. They met in college and they decided to develop games together. Uh, we met in college, we met in college and we didn't really start thinking about game development until after college, but yeah. um, I, I knew them personally from college. I've actually known Puffballs for quite a bit of time before college, um, but we all just like started hanging out and then they started Inner Sloth like after college. Just jumped on and this was probably a year before um, among- what? Did I just- Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, damn. Okay, this my wallpaper. Wallpaper meet viewers. Viewers meet wallpaper. God. I know, right? It's embarrassing. Okay, how do I get back? Alright, let's get back to YouTube. Oh, found it. There we go. Boot it up. Hmm. Hmm. Really start thinking about game development until oh, after college, but yeah. um, I, I knew them personally from college. I've actually known Puffballs for quite a bit of time before college, um, but we all just like started hanging out, and then they started Inner Sloth like after college. Just jumped on, and this was probably a year before um, Among Us was launched, and then we yeah we started working on Among Us. And the rest is history. The concept of the game they developed is very simple. You have four to ten people on a ship trying to survive by carrying out minor tasks that scatter the players across the map, with one or two of them actually being imposters with the secret mission of isolating and killing off the crewmates one by one. It's a very straightforward idea with a pretty repetitive set of mechanics, but with the added psychological factor of trying to figure out who the imposter is, it lends itself to almost infinite entertainment. Now, of course, simply developing a good game doesn't necessarily guarantee guarantee success, and Among Us, in its first two years after being launched, very much confirmed that. With Inner Sloth admitting in an interview with Kotaku that they're quote-unquote really bad at marketing, it's understandable why for a very long time the game wouldn't reach more than 30 to 50 concurrent players. But despite this apparent failure, they stuck to their guns and continued to put their time and effort into fixing bugs and releasing updates consistently. Even if this meant losing money and working off with savings rather than any kind of income, by sheer dedication they managed to foster a very small but very loyal fan base that slowly but surely kept growing. I think what makes the story of Among Us so wholesome and quite frankly legitimately inspirational is the fact that they didn't succeed right away, but success ultimately found them. It's like they were digging a tunnel for what felt like forever, refusing to give up despite being depleted of resources until out of nowhere striking a gigantic deposit of gold that they could have easily missed had they given up early. When Chance Morris, aka Soda Poppin, streamed the game on Twitch to his almost 3 million followers in July of 2020, it kicked off a snowball that to this day continues to pick up volume volume at a rapid pace. I think what also contributed to the game blowing up in the way it did was how chaotic this year has been for everybody. With a lot of countries currently under lockdown and with a general lack of entertainment options out there, life had become pretty monotonous. So when Among Us started to pick up steam, it offered an escape to everyone who had been trapped inside for months. Suddenly, YouTubers had a great opportunity to collab in a way that was wholesome and fun. Everyone wanted to see various team-ups between their favorite creators. And so just in September alone, YouTube announced that Among Us related 
related videos had gained a collective 4 billion views. They state, and I quote, Among Us provides an opportunity for players to socialize with others online while remaining socially distanced, which would make it the latest in a line of quote-unquote pandemic games, a list which would include Animal Crossing and Fall Guys. All of these games fostered a sense of social connection during a year in which this was a little more difficult to come by. So when Innersloth saw the player count go from 30 to 50 concurrent players up to 100,000 concurrent players by the end of July, they had initially announced their plans to start working on a sequel for the game. But by the end of September, that number had gone up to 3 million concurrent players. And the team decided to... Damn, let's see. Among Us 2, Among Us 2. Do they actually have Among Us 2? Damn. Among Us 2. There we go. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Come on, go down, go down. No, there isn't. Hey. Wait, did they take it down or something? I think iPad doesn't have it. Or is it just there is no Among Us 2? I think iPad doesn't have it or something. Scrap the idea for Among Us 2 and instead focus all energy and resources into optimizing the original game that everyone had already become obsessed with. This was probably one of the few times that the cancellation of a game was received with positive feedback. Because at the end of the day, as long as servers run well and glitches are being fixed, there will continue to be enormous excitement around it. It doesn't need an overly polished sequel, at least not right now. Among Us is great for exactly what it is, a simplistic game that allows for insidious tactics, plot twists and vicious betrayal. And no matter how many times you play it, the thrill is unquestionably there. Apart from the inspirational aspect of the development story and the entertainment of the game itself, one cannot ignore how Among Us has also seeped into internet culture. So much so that if you go on Reddit, it's just going to be a giant wall of Among Us memes. Granted, a lot of them are shameless reposts, but hey, anything for that sweet Reddit karma, am I right? Us, finally figuring out who the imposter is after killing half the team and ruining four friendships. We did it, Patrick! We saved the city! Patrick should be like, yeah, but what did it cost us, Spongebob. Everything. You got imposter. Yay! Five people leave and ruin your game. No! <laughs> I swear to God, every time uh, and I play on a public Dark lobby, had to too. make a color wheel for school, so and I saw an opportunity. Mm -hmm. That's actually kind of cool. I feel like if more teachers yeah, embraced true. this out-of-the-box thinking, we'd be yeah. living in like the future, no, flying no, cars no. and everything. Among Us videos be like, 9,999,999 IQ play. Oh my, play. Oh my god, actually, Among Us. Yeah, There's true. tons of these videos, like literally see, see, too many of them. But things. here's the thing. I don't even know what they mean. We wouldn't have these videos if people didn't click on these videos. So who's really to blame, hmm? Watson, look up at the stars and oh, tell me what you've deduced. I see millions of stars and even if a few of those have planets, it's quite likely that there are some like Earth out there. There might also be life. No, Watson, we've been ejected. You were AFK. <laughs> Props to this person who made the comic, Kitoliart on Reddit. Apparently they don't have a Twitter or Instagram, but uh, Kitoliart on Reddit, good job. I am once again asking, where? <laughs> I swear to God, public lobbies, man. Every time a body is reported, a thousand people stop. I even ask where. Spamming where, like that's gonna solve anything. You join a server with all English speakers. Hmm. You get imposter and no one leaves when they see crewmate. Huh? You get an amazing fellow imposter who does double kills with you and backs you up if another player susses you. Whoa! You get the majority of kills and get a flawless win and people don't get mad at you! Oh my god! <laughs> By the way, how did Bernie Sanders become the mascot of Among Us memes? Electrician knowledge. Nah. Among Us electrician knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if anyone has what it takes to go to whatever <laughs> electrician university and they're like tell us a little something about your experience you and you're like huh, you, you should see how fast so i am with the wires in among us electrical wires <laughs>
And he's like, no, I know nothing, but I know. Yo, how to this do is Among so stuff. freaking cool. Like, the character designs. I love how this dude is taller wow, than everyone. Really Every character cool. tells their own little story. Some guy goes, I vibe hard with the orange one who just wants to do their tasks. They even have the sprout hat and everything. <laughs> this is a really good drawing. Credit goes to Shroon Chu. Shroon Chu. At Shroon Chu on Twitter and Instagram. Good job. There is one birthday boy there among us. Nathan was among the us. birthday boy. Nathan oh my god. That's so freaking cool. <laughs> They all voted for him and everything. Credit goes to at Mikey94. There is one birthday girl among us. Bro, there's so many talented people out there. I'm not sure which one of these two I prefer, but I think embroidery in particular is more fascinating for whatever reason. Maybe just because I can't do it. If anyone knows how to make embroidery, by the way, I would love to see something with me and Wilfer with like a cool sunset in the background or something. Just putting it out there into the universe. If there's any embroiderers, uh, uh, watching this video hit your boy up at youtube's on twitter posted this picture red looking sus hmm i'm not sure about that i think these two guys over here look more sus than anyone else Well, that was the uh, thingy, so like and subscribe, we're desperate, so desperate, right? We're desperate? Yeah. Like and subscribe or we'll kill you. Thanks for watching. Bye.